Hello everyone and welcome back to my hard time series in Kerbal Space Program 0 0.90 Beta. In this episode I was planning to start off with sending uh, Jeb to Minmus to plant that flag and get the necessary experience so that he can become our top pilot, but uh, I just realized that we still don't have action groups unlocked so I can't really use the the DRK as intended because I wouldn't be able to switch between uh, jet mode and rocket mode properly. So let's step out here for a sec and try and unlock that before I explain what the mission profile is going to be like. So let's see, action groups. Where are action groups? Okay, boo boy. 2.5 million? Hmm. That's pretty darn expensive, isn't it? Uh, that's, that's more than we got. So, yeah, huh. Um, let's take a look at our contracts. Do we have anything that could give us the kind of funds we need to unlock full action groups? Explore Tylo. Uh, so maybe we'll have to take care of the Tylo mission first, but, uh, we might have to wait a long time for a jewel encounter. Is there anything else we could do that's a little bit more local? Uh, well, obviously that's not going to be good enough. Build a new orbital station around Elu. I guess we should just take that on principle, right? Uh, build a satellite in a tundra orbit around the sun. Well, I mean, no, yeah, well, we've already got the advance, but we wouldn't be able to launch the DRK shuttle with the remaining funds anyway, so it's no good. Let's take a look at the planets. Nope, none of them are in any sort of good position. If I had to make a bet, Eve would be in the in the transfer point uh, phase angle first, then Duna would be in the right phase angle, I believe, and then Jewel, uh, Dresden Jewel probably around the same time, just looking at where things are right now. So, yeah, let's go back to the contract screen. Could I switch the mode of the... Well, I could let it do automatic switching. I could let the, the program take control over whether I switch between air breathing or closed cycle mode. That's sounds dodgy, but I guess we could try a mission like that. We'll try it to Minmus then. Uh, so we're going to need to rendezvous with with our station. Uh, it is a little bit tricky. It's been a while since I've even flown the shuttle. I shouldn't call it the shuttle when it's not on the shuttle stack. Uh, I've flown the DRK. So, anyway, explaining the mission mode here, you can see Cargo Bay open with the lander there. That's the lander for either Minmus or Gilly, I suppose, if we want to transfer over to Eve and then send this on to Gilly, that we could do that. But, uh, yeah, very small amount of fuel, probably a thousand Delta V at most. Uh, we're talking about here, just enough to get down and then get back up again. Okay, and of course, plant the flag. It's got the. Uh, it's only got half a tank up here. It's of course got its own ten mop propellant. Uh, it's all just in case. It's got the thrusters. Um, the cargo bay has to remain open because otherwise it'll poke through. As uh, uh, you would be able to see if I did that. Uh, we we're using the junior clampatrons, and uh, that's partly because I want to shift it up. If I didn't shift it up, the legs would be clipping into the bottom of the cargo bay, and that's no good. Um, why didn't I use the lander can? Well, first of all, this is probably going to be disposable, so the lander can is much more expensive than the command pod. Uh, aside from that, it's also bulkier, which means it poked through even more and probably would uh, poke through the bottom of this, uh, even though I've shifted the clapatron up a little bit. Now, this means that this this particular DRK will have this little clapatron junior in the back for various purposes so we can dock new payloads to it so we'll probably leave it in orbit we probably won't bring it down too soon well I'll think about that of course uh, but uh, yeah I mean of course we've got the stations there for a reason the whole point is to refuel this plane in order to transfer to other locations okay um, well I guess that about says it all uh, the engine shouldn't be over here uh oh that's not what I wanted to do. Not that one, that one. Okay, well, let's see. This will be the first flight of this particular space plane in 0.90. I wonder if it works. 
our crew will be. Well, we wanted to get Jeb the the experience. Bill will be the engineer there, and Bob will be in the crew cabin. It's the top three here. Let's go. So here we are. We are in automatic switching mode on all of the engines. I won't be able to close the intakes properly though, so that's a problem. The cargo bay has to remain open, and that's part of the reason for the design being the way it is, of course, so that the cargo, cargo bay being open does not seem too obtrusive. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and uh, Jeb, Bill, and Bob, here we go. Ooh, there's some bumps. Make sure that we have clearance. Uh, I don't even remember the rotate speed for this thing. Oh, well, we've got rotation. Uh, all right, careful, careful. All right, lift off. Gear up. Better check our electricity consumption because we're blocking some of the solar panels here. But we're alright. Okay, well, I can't go up very fast. So I'll uh, catch up with you once we get to altitude. Unfortunately, I totally forgotten what the optimal ascent profile for the DRK is. It's been so long since I've taken it up like this. I should have probably watched the videos where I did it the previous time. Of course, that those ascents required peculiar switching. I actually switched modes on a pair of the engines while re remaining in jet mode for the other pair. And of course I'm not gonna do that this time. Okay, we're past 15 kilometers, and at this point, I have no idea when it's going to switch from air breathing to closed cycle mode. We will find out. Thrust is smoothly increasing to the thrust level of closed cycle mode, which is interesting. Wouldn't really have expected that, actually. I don't think that's how the Saber engines would have the thrust profile. Not sure though. I'm trying to gain as much speed here now as possible, so let me level off. Ah, that's the peninsula, so we really should be getting into rocket mode soon. We've already crossed a huge chunk of ocean. 0.01. We have zero intake air. I think maybe it should switch to closed cycle soon now. Maybe? I'm worried that it's gonna flame out on me. Okay, closed cycle mode. Uh, let's. Uh ascend quickly now. Oh, and we actually we should probably throttle back a little bit to avoid overheating. Okay, there we go. We're in closed cycle all the way. So let's gain altitude as a priority. Yep, we've got too much oxidizer. That was a strange sound change there. Let's just go to prograde now. Hopefully through the soupiest part of the atmosphere. Need to be able to get up to Shinhanshu Station. Got a inclination of 1.1 degrees, so that's not great. Well, that should be okay for now. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, right, uh, two of the engines do run out of fuel first. That's intentional to avoid too high thrust-to-weight ratios. 
All right, so those can be shut down. All right, coasting to apoapsis, hoping we have enough fuel for orbit. Still too much oxidizer, and that's not good. But it's it's okay since we're gonna be refuel topping it off at the station if we can reach orbit. Okay, so we're gonna remain in a low orbit so that we can catch up to the station. Actually, that fuel isn't uh, just in this, right? That's also including the fuel here. I better keep an eye on that. Okay, that's theoretically orbit. Let's see how it's shaping up. 72, 73? 74-ish, actually. Alright. So let's catch up with the station and then we'll fix inclination afterwards. So uh, let's try and optimize. Okay, well, this just these solar panels visible. Let me turn off the lights. Okay, I'm not getting too much better than 1.8 kilometers, unfortunately. That's usually outside of my preferred margin, but in this case, I think I'll go with it. Huh, I can't find the negative relative velocity vector, come on. Okay, well that's the positive. Come on, station's drifting away, come on. Okay. I'm really doing too much maneuvering with this thing. I'm maneuvering it like a plane instead of a spaceship. Stop that. But anyway, here we go. Shinhanshu station should be in render range by now. Yeah. Stocking port is there. Let's uh, make things easier on ourselves and make sure it's turned towards us. Okay, station is turned towards us. Looks like it has enough fuel, though not with much margin. So that's good. Eventually we're going to have to switch to controlling from our docking port, but we don't have to do that for now. We can continue controlling as is so that we don't have to neglect our main engines. Gonna see how... That's the trouble with the RCS on this thing. It's not particularly balanced. Or powerful. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, using RCS probably burned uh, RCS on the payload as well. Let me just quickly check on that. Yeah, it lost some of its mouth balance and it was using its RCS. No action groups to disable that. I could disable that tank though. Gotta remember to re-enable it. Time to get the docking port ready. So toggle. Control from here. Vector wandering. And I have to correct it pretty regularly. And that is because RCS isn't particularly well balanced and SAS is going to have trouble with that too. Doesn't seem quite lined up. But then the eye can be deceiving sometimes. Anyway, under 20 meters, 0.2. No, we're definitely not. Well, depends on our velocity vector. I am adjusting in the direction that I think I'm off. That seems fine. Hold for a sec. I'm obviously pointed incorrectly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no. The, the nap ball is not being true to me. This isn't right. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to just cite it out then. I think we've had this issue with the nap ball and this plane before. 
Okay. Okay, we've bumped RCS off, SAS off, and we have docked. Okay, so first successful docking of the DRK shuttle to Shinhanchu Station, and let's get refueling. This is probably going to take a while. Okay, I think I've finished refueling, but one of the downsides to the design of the DRK is that there are a lot of tanks that are really hard to reach, so I'm not entirely sure I've gotten to all of them. Um, in any case, we'll have plenty of fuel to transfer to Minmus, but yeah, let's find out. So right now, the DRK itself is actually blocking the solar panels of the station, and I don't want to try and turn the station with the DRK docked like this. So yeah, well, let's see if we've got uh, the right amount of fuel. So undock, switch uh, we seem to have like 90 liquid fuel less. How did we manage that? Um, that's all there. You know what? I'm not going to bother with that right now. Wow, wait, we're, uh, okay, uh, let's back away and flip around so that we can get some electric charge quickly because we're running out of that. And then while it's charging up, I can plot from in this. Okay, so yeah, we're down 90 units of liquid fuel, so that's not bad. We are at pretty much 50 tons, and nearly 30 tons worth of fuel. I think we can burn out from our descending node, can we? Ooh, moon encounter, not what I was looking for. Then again, I guess we'll be swinging by the moon. Okay. Alright, so we're going to have a moon encounter and we'll swing by on our way to Minmus. Seems like a plan. Funny, if it was a moon transfer, I think the moon would be showing up by now. But anyway, that's what we've got. So here we go. Up oh, there's the moon, finally. Of course, we weren't on an optimal transfer to the moon, so that's why it took so long to appear. Let's see how things are shaping up. Ah, they're off. But they seem to be getting a little bit better. Ooh, not better. All right, well, uh, in this encounter of some kind, I'll take it for now. Uh, maybe we should adjust inclination a little bit more than we, what we've done right now. All right, all right. We've got him in this encounter. That's good enough for me. Okay, let's just roll a bit. And yes, off we go to the moon. We should probably not be controlling. Oh, I've, we, we haven't been controlling from the docking port. That's weird, actually. We managed to make the transfer, and we seem to be controlling from the cockpit, even though we just undocked, and you'd think we'd be controlling from the docking port accidentally. Anyway, let's uh, toggle that so we can close that up. We're not going to be using RCS, so uh, when I get the lights on, and I'm going to unlock that RCS tank. Okay, Lunar Sphere of Influence. Hope we're not missing out on any science we could possibly do. The lander does not have enough Delta V to land on the moon and take off again, so we would have to have a very different lander for that. Uh, this still makes it look like we're going to be off. Let's just finish our moon encounter and see what happens after that. <laughs> I 
Well, it doesn't have a Mimus encounter, it's got another Moon encounter on the other side. That's an interesting orbit we've got there. Also doesn't seem to have an ascending node for us. So let me just try and see what we need to do. Well, there's the ascending node out there. Okay, well, just 11 meters per second. That's not too bad. We weren't that far off. It's funny, is Jeb not the pilot of this thing? Because we're not getting the all the normal pilot stuff on the side there. Okay, DRK Mission 2 is now in Minmus Sphere of Influence and will promptly get into orbit. Like so. Probably will need to lower its orbit on the Apoapsis side in order to ease the lander's duties. And that is in orbit. Proceeding to Periapsis to complete the work. That should be good enough, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, we will need the lander to get into a lower orbit after all. Right. Transfer to that one. Okay, so Jeb is in here. Yep. Alright, well, let's uh, open this door now so that it's easier for him to get out. Uh, the, the whole thing does not seem particularly stable, it's still wiggling. I'm gonna use the time warp trick to stabilize that. No, it doesn't stabilize it, it's still got some oscillations, wow. Well, it should be okay for Jeb. Uh... Oh, no pilots on board. Right, well, of course, uh, Bill is not a pilot. Right. So, this is Jeb. Jeb's a pilot. Okay, Jeb, proof that... Okay, that's the wrong way. There we go. Alright, Jeb is off. He's got his little pod. Should not take much to land on Minmus. That would be a bad direction to point in. Hmm. Maybe we should use some more RCS to push you on this direction. And now that's not so bad. Okay, well let's let's get this contract done. Seems like our flags are on that side, so this side should be relatively clear. I don't know, I guess this is the logical place to land on. Don't know if it's going to overlap with one of our other locations. We're in an interesting inclination. Gonna have to watch out for that when trying to rendezvous. Okay, so DRK shuttle clear? Yep. Alright, ignite engine. Alright, we are on a descent path. Flying right by the DRK. Just trying to plant a flag, no, no other science involved really. I haven't really landed on this dark spot before, have I? Seems like it might be a thing to do. Okay, touchdown. Jebediah Kerman doing his thing as usual. Where is your hatch, Jebediah? Hopefully I didn't obscure it with a solar panel. There you are. Alright. EVA time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let go. Let go. No, don't let it flop. Don't let it flop. Wow, when they say no SAS, they mean no SAS. Okay, don't knock it. It's really, really fragile right now. Okay, so here we go. 
Uh, sure, take a surface sample, why don't you? Highlands. All right, well, keep the data. Uh, EV report. Sure, keep the data. And plant a flag. All right. Jib on the highlands. And we'll say contract fulfilled. Let's double check to make sure that's true. Yep, plant a flag on Minmus fulfilled. So, let's get Jeb back into the pod for now. This is, I, I don't want to knock over the pod, so I want to be careful about this. Hear that, Jeb? Careful. Okay, grab, grab, board. All right. Okay, so what I think is I'll uh, I'll proceed with the rest of the mission in the next episode. So we'll get Jeb back up to the DRK. We'll get DRK back to the station around Kerbin, so Shinhanshu Station. We need to refuel the station before we can refuel the DRK, so it's going to have to get a new fuel transfer and then we will transfer the DRK over to Eve in order to plant that flag on Gilly. So that's my order of operations right now since I think Eve will be the first planet that will get into phase angle alignment uh, that will that will be the next thing that we do. Alright so I think we're all set here we have successfully conducted a mission with the DRK and now we're going to continue on to a, another mission and with that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.